Hi, this is Doc's Market Minute for Wednesday, December 16th. The Fed rate policy decision has been out for about an hour. Janet Yellen has been talking for about half an hour and so far has not tripped over anything. The market seems to be rallying. So what I want to do here real quick is to walk through some important charts and show what's going on. Now, yesterday we talked about how important it is to see reversal starting from the inside out. And what we're just now seeing a couple of minutes ago is the price taking out one of the recent lower highs. So now we've gone from a lower high, lower low, to now a higher high. And that increases the possibility that the next low is going to be a higher low. And then we'll see a change in polarity. What this is going to do is pull up this daily chart. Now where it's going to run into problems is probably initially this trend line, which is going to come into confluence around the 2100 level. So I think we may get a little bit of a reaction up there at around 20. 100 or so on the cash index and uh, you know we'll see whether or not it fades at that point or just blows right on through it if it blows right on through it then we're starting to see the reversal of the weekly chart because the weekly chart's been in a quiet little downtrend of its own so we'll watch carefully for what happens here again what i've been talking about lately is this golden cross is about to happen to the upside again and every time we've seen this death cross, which occurred back here in August, be a false signal and eventually lead to a golden cross, we've that has historically led to a big rally in the last 20 years. Every time we have seen that signal, it's been a big rally since then. And so this is kind of a day of jubilation because now the Fed is out of the way. I don't see them really doing anything for a number of months Certainly, they're not going to be hiking or cutting rates next month or anything like that. Unless markets roll over, you never know what kind of tools that they're going to pull out. But we don't have to worry about a rate hike until probably at least the March time frame. So this is kind of a, a cool thing, having the Fed out of the way, hopefully, and we'll see what happens. Now, the ECB could sort of step in to, to cause some other event risk, but you know we'll take it one thing at a time. So... Right now, so far, we're getting a positive reaction on the S&P. Let's move over to the Russell. Here's the Russell 2000. Normally, we get the January effect, and the small caps get a little bit of a bid, and they've actually not, not had a very good couple of weeks here. So, yeah, we're seeing a nice bounce off of the bottom, but so far, this is only leading to the possibility that anything that comes up here is going to fade over and fade back down again and just set up a lower high. So right now this is not a great looking pattern. This is more of a huge weekly bear flag than anything else. So I think the markets, uh, at least the Russell here, is going to be trapped within this range, probably up to maybe 1,200 or so, even if it gets that high. So right now this is just a big invitation for a lower high on the Russell. But we'll see what, what happens here over the next couple of weeks. Sometimes the Russell just does strange things that don't necessarily fit into the pattern of how normal price action works in other markets. Okay, let's go over to the Dow. The Dow, we're seeing essentially the same signals as the S&P, and we're getting that same exact look as far as the Golden Cross happening again here, and we've just taken out the high in the 78-minute chart, so things are looking good here. Let's watch out for that trend line. This is just more of the same. This is just a big consolidation pattern happening at the weekly chart. This is just a weekly bull flag here setting up. So we could see this thing thrashing around a little bit more until we see the energy restored back here. So it may take another couple of weeks. So Santa rally or not, we'll see whether the Santa rally is able to get up to 18,000 and beyond. Now, just a quick look at some of the, the major NASDAQ stocks that have been driving the market. This is Netflix. Netflix looks fine. Here's Facebook. Facebook looks like it's starting to break out above this trend line here. And this may be a setup that uh, I want to look for here. So on this trend line, we have a lot of energy, and this needs to go somewhere. So that's a nice setup there. And uh, lastly, we'll look at Am Apple and Amazon. Apple's not looking that good right now with a nasty looking monthly lower high. Wouldn't touch this one right now. And here's Amazon, and Amazon is still looking great, although it's got some serious exhaustion at the larger time frames. 
So we've gotten past the Fed meeting. This is the first Fed meeting in a long, long time where we've actually had action in the month of December. Usually this is a no-fly zone for the Fed, and they're taking some extraordinary action now after being boxed into a corner. Hallelujah, it's over with. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>